Mercer and Kennesaw State midweek matchup at Ortho Georgia Park. Bases loaded in the first, and yes, Ty Daly is a human. He is going to fly out on this at bat after earning 11 RBI this past weekend along the SoCon Player of the Week honors. With five homers in two games, the Bears came up empty, still scoreless. But bottom of the four, Owls on top, one nothing. Ty Daly back in the box. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me, or whatever that means. But let's just say six home runs in four games. The Daly man is tallying up RBI like a madman. The Bears tie the game one to one with that burst of energy they needed. Boom! Fast forward to the fifth inning. Bears bats come alive when Jackson Cherry comes in clutch with the RBI to score Bradley Fry. And it's 2 1 for the Bears on top. Next up, that man again, Ty Daly, and this time he doesn't homer, but he does keep the ball in play, and that'll play Jackson Cherry on his horse, and the Bears extend the lead to 3-1. Mercer hangs three in the frame, and they get another run when Noah Best comes up the plate. He hits a dribbler down the first baseline. Yeah, he's going to out-hustle everybody, and that plates another run in the inning. The Owls come back to tie the game in the sixth. And they ultimately take the lead and the win of five to four. The Bears next time out is on the road in Johnson City with East Tennessee State this weekend for a SoCon Road Series.